I'm Parmita Dalal. I am a design lead at IDEO.org based out of San Francisco. We often focus so much on the product, the toilet, the technical requirements, how big is it going to be, all of those things, but we also know that there's this whole ecosystem of experience around it. So I really wanted to focus the tool clinic around service design and how do you prototype multiple touch points and different things that are happening that people are interacting with before, during, and after they actually engage with the product itself. So we focused on service storming and service blueprinting. Service blueprinting really gives you your framework of how you're going to operationalize a, a new service or experience and all the pieces that are involved. And what service storming is, is a way to bring to life an end-to-end -end service through acting. So you take a blueprint of a service where you've kind of thought about what's happening on the front end, what's happening on the background, what are my users actually interacting with at different moments in an experience, and then before you start to put that out into the world, you can actually start to prototype that in a very low resolution way. So you actually act out a service and you have somebody act out being a telephone and someone acting out being the internet cutting out. Things like that that bring to life a real experience that someone might have and you can start to think about what's working, what are the gaps, what felt weird, what pieces of experience have we not thought about. I think there's a time and place to use these different tools. So with service storming, this is really when you're at those initial stages, you're starting to put together an experience, and you want an easy way to try things out and poke holes at your own design and your, your own experience that you're trying to create. And then with blueprinting, this is actually a really robust tool, and um, you can start with a sketch of a blueprint or using post-it notes, and then as you get to higher and higher levels of refinement, um, we actually do use blueprinting um, to fully operationalize and scale things. And so I really wanted to highlight that as much as that thing or that product, the toilet is central to all of this work, there's so many other touch points that your user is going through and we really have to think about that and design for it and create those touch points in a way that really will then eventually drive the adoption and behavior changes that we're looking for.